Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be budgeting out my second paycheck for November. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. My name is Janelle and I do all things budgeting. I also include work week lunches, grocery hauls, meal planning, and lifestyle videos. So if that is something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I do get paid weekly and I do a cashless cat cashless envelope system. So you guys are going to see how I incorporate that into my budget. I also do do a monthly budget and then break down my monthly budget into weekly paychecks, but all of the money that I receive for the month does get used for that month. And I only roll over what I have budgeted for my buffer to cover bills until I get my next paycheck. So for my main income, I am budgeting $730 for rollover, which would be what I'm projecting from my previous paycheck is 71. And then other is like my commission or maybe any checks or anything that I may have gotten. I am budgeting $200. So 730 plus 71 plus 200 gives me $1,001 to work with for this paycheck. Now we're gonna go down to our bills. So for my bills, I have my transfer. So if you are new to my channel, you don't know, I actually do two budgets on this channel. I have my personal budget, which we're currently doing right now. And then I also have my household budget. I do have my playlist linked in my description box and um, of course I'm gonna have well not of course but I have more personal budgeting because our household budget is pretty like straightforward in a sense but if you guys want to catch up and see what's been going on you guys can definitely check that out I also have like my grocery hauls and home series um, for like decluttering and stuff on there as well so that's what a transfer is and I'm gonna be to putting $250 into that account Next, I have eight coins. I do have an IRA and an investment account with them, and it's a $3 subscription for them. Next is going to be my AT&T bill. So this gets moved around a little bit because it is automatically charged to my Wells Fargo account, and I want to say they charge it on the 11th or the 12th. So anytime after that, I can pay for that amount. I normally will try to pay for it on the 21st, which is when the credit card bill is due. But just depending on where all of my bills are um, set up and or my pay, I will move them around. So I'm gonna be paying my AT&T bill within this pay period. And then I have a Ashley's furniture card and that's gonna be $96. So those are gonna be the four bills that I have to pay. So we're gonna add this up. We're gonna do 250 plus $3 plus 187, 47 plus 96. And that gives us a total of $536.47. And we're gonna take that amount. So we're gonna do 1001 minus 536. 47 and that leaves us with $464.53 to work with because that is our leftover money. So then we're going to bring that leftover money down to my cashless cash envelopes. And for my envelopes, I have groceries, gas, household, personal and spending and groceries right now i am budgeting a hundred dollars for gas i am going to budget 40. i am not budgeting anything for household personal is going to get twenty dollars and spending is going to get five and that is going to come out to 165 dollars so um just a quick uh, quick to explain how I do this. Whenever I get paid, I will transfer whatever amount I decide to actually do for my cashless cash envelopes into my Capital One 360 account. I use my Capital One Quicksilver card for all of these purchases here. And then each week when I reconcile my credit card, I will then take that money out and 
pay it back to the card. So, and if I ever go over in these accounts, I try to make sure that I budget in the next like paycheck or something like that to pay it back off so that I'm not keeping a balance on the credit card at the end of like the statement, which is okay because I would not be getting any interest on there. And um, yeah, that's just where we are. So I've been doing well since I've gotten that card like taken care of. So we're going to have $299.53 remaining after we do our cashless cash envelopes. Next, I'm going to talk about the sinking funds that I currently have. I have car insurance. I pay my car insurance um, every six months. And so I'm trying to make sure that I have the money to cover for July of next year since I'm technically saving for the car insurance for January right now. Next is going to be car maintenance. Um, and that is just anything outside of whatever is already covered under my vehicle. I have Christmas. Next year, household will be covering that. Uh, but this is already fully funded. I have husband and this is for any time that I would like to do anything special or nice for my husband or anything. I, I buy my husband stuff just randomly. Um, next is going to be PTO. And PTO is for any time that I have to be out of work and I don't have time at work to cover, you know, that day or that week or whatever, then I'll be able to pull from my PTO. Next is going to be save, which is just a general account. Miscellaneous is pretty much anything like all YouTube related, um, anything that I need to buy for my planner, my printer, all of that good stuff. Uh, we have invest, which is anytime I put any money into my investment accounts. Currently, for this paycheck, I don't have anything budgeted. So we'll just be rolling over that. And then we'll bring this down to extra debt. I am currently not paying any money towards extra debt right now. The goal is just to save, 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 save. Um, so we are then going to roll this $2.99 over to my extra savings. I have my zero out since I always take that change and roll it over to my sinking funds. And then I'm just going to do savings challenges. And for this paycheck, I budgeted $6, y'all. And sorry, $0.53 cents for my zero out challenge which would bring me to $6.53 cents for savings. Um, so $2.99 minus $6.53 leaves me with $293. And that means this will be rolling over into my third paycheck. So this is my paycheck budget, y'all, for November the 11th through the 17th. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.